All right, turning back now to the announcement that is changing the landscape of the 2024 presidential election, former President Trump now naming Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate in his quest to return to the White House. No, Vance is a rather new face in the political world. He was first elected to serve in the U.S. Senate to represent Ohio in 2022. Before that, he was known as a venture capitalist turned author for his New York Times bestselling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy. The 39-year-old also served four years in the U.S. Marine Corps. Vance married his Yale Law School classmate, and they have three children. Now, this might be the first time you're hearing the name J.D. Vance if you don't follow politics closely. 11 News reporter Tori Yorgi joins us now live. Yeah, Tori, a political expert you spoke with tonight called J.D. Vance an interesting choice. Exactly, Ashley Andre, and there were a few big names on the table for this position, but in the end, the young Ohio senator who was critical of the former president in the past was Mr. Trump's pre vice presidential pick tonight. <laughs> Former President Donald Trump officially named as the Republican nominee for president in 2024 tonight. I think it's a very sad state of things that we have the two candidates that we have. Many voters telling us they're really not happy to see a presidential rematch between Mr. Trump and Mr. Biden. I mean, Trump and Biden, actually, I'm, I'm, I support neither. The former president also using the first day of the RNC to announce his running mate, 39-year-old Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. He's probably getting a younger guy probably because he needs the votes and obviously it's something that he could bring to his team. I certainly think that it's uh, more, more than anything else about kind of the ideological bona fides and about the things that J.D. Vance has talked about um, in his short career in the Senate um, that probably were most enticing, let's say, to the Trump camp. UMBC Associate Professor of Political Science Ian Ansem walking us through why he believes Mr. Trump chose the first time senator who has only been in office for about two years. Because J.D. Vance, certainly the ideological profile that he tends to uh, put out there in the Senate um, is very similar, I think, in nature to Trump. Um, and also, obviously, the descriptives um, are sort of lined up as well um, with kind of the existing kind of MAGA base. Anson also acknowledging how critical Vance has been towards Mr. Trump in the past. So it seems that bygones have become bygones. And this all coming two days after the attempted assassination of the former president. Anson says it's too soon, though, to say for sure how that will impact the ticket. Drawing any parallels to, to the past and trying to say, well, you know, this candidate vaulted ahead in the polls or this candidate, uh, you know, had this happen to them as a result of this um, this really unfortunate circumstance. Um, I, I just think that we can't say anything definitive about that at this time. And I like to throw out there too that we do know from the advisors of Vice President Kamala Harris that she has begun preparing for a vice presidential debate even before Vance was named tonight. So that is something we do know. However, as far as a debate goes, something we typically do see between the VPs that has not been set yet, and it's still in question if one will happen. We'll be sure to keep you posted. Live tonight, Tori Yorgi, WBAL-TV 11 News.